Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Second MRI, and this is an example of an accessory tendon along the lateral aspect of the ankle. This is called an accessory perineus cortis tendon, and it is behind the perineus brevis and longus tendon. So here's the perineus brevis in front, then the longus. Remember that Bruce Lee brevis in front. Here they are together, and they're in the perineal retinaculum. Now behind that is another little dot here. This is very, very tiny, much, much smaller, and there it is right there. It comes out of the same muscle group and goes down, 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 and then it attaches over here in the lateral aspect of the calcaneus. This is the calcaneofibular ligament on the medial margin there, this long band here if you're wondering. And this sometimes can cause crowding of the perineal tunnel, especially when the muscle belly is lower and bigger. It can crowd these perineus tendons and cause tenus endivitis and sometimes tendinopathy and tearing. This patient has maybe a little bit of tenus endivitis, but it's very subtle findings, and the tendon itself looks good. So again, this is an example of a perineus cortis tendon, very common accessory tendon. Again, it can attach down here. Most of the time I see it attached to the calcaneus. Other times you can't really see the attachment very well. Sometimes it blends with the perineus, perineus longus tendon attaches there. Uh, but a very common thing to, uh, to know about. And again, if you ever see tendinopathy out laterally, uh, think about an accessory perineus tendon that's producing crowding of that retinaculum and the, the source of that. So thank you very much and have a great day.